Welcome to the Tech News Update. On this Windows channel, we are Thursday, July 28, 2016. And today, in our Tech News, we have 24 hours left for Windows 10 free offer. Yep, we're already here, 24 hours before they remove the free offer. So, um, interesting. I've seen a lot of websites have articles today. A few of them uh, saying, you know, even if you don't want it, you should actually upgrade. Um, the thing is about Windows 10 upgrade is I understand how, you know, people, um, a lot of people that stuck with Windows 7, for example, are just happy there. And they don't understand the reason why they should move on. And it, it's a general idea that I see in a lot of my clients where it's just, well, it works and I don't really don't want anything else. Um, and it, it's it's sad because it's one of the reasons why Windows 10 is not, you know, could could be much better in that first year. They could have had even more uh, upgrades. But uh, we got to say also that, you know, that uh, upgrade um, panel that kind of annoyed everybody probably didn't help, you know, made it maybe worse than actually helped. But whatever. Uh, Windows 10 is uh, free for 24 hours and then it's over. Uh, prices will be 119 for the home version, 199 for the pro version. And uh, probably most people after tomorrow will be getting Windows 10 when they buy a new computer, as is the case most of the time. Well, Google Play, we always talk about how, you know, we uh, like the fact that we, uh, we first thought that the uh, store in a Windows store it was kind of messed up and they're trying to make it better but I always say and you know I, I do think that uh, the um, iTunes you know the App Store on iPhone and the App Store of Google Play are horrible also and um, Google has announced that they will actually be updating Google Play with a new interface and new categories to try to make it better and it shows that they're, you know, pretty much all the app stores are searching for a way to kind of display apps in a manner that people would be uh, interested and in, make it easier to find what you want. Because, um, you know, I use Google Play, I use um, App Store for iOS, and they are kind of a mess and it's difficult to go around. Um, a little bit like, you know, the Windows Store. It's, it's better than it was, but it's, it still needs tweaking, I believe. Well, if you're a Yahoo Messenger user, um, it hasn't been updated in a long, long time. Well, Yahoo Messenger will have an update for Windows and Mac uh, coming soon. So uh, it's interesting to see that uh, they're taking the time to actually uh, make this uh, Messenger app uh, run and be more modern. Um, I don't know how many people are still using Yahoo Messenger. I remember using it a long time ago. Um, after basically, you know, ICQ, and then there was Yahoo Messenger, and then there was what MSN Messenger, uh, and all of that. But uh, it seems that uh, it's worth it for them to update this app. There's still a lot of people. I know a few of you uh, are using it. Um, a few of my viewers are using it. So it's uh, interesting to see that it's still alive, and that they'll be updating this uh, in the next few weeks. Well, even though we're talking about declining sales, um, it still shows that Apple has sold over 1 billion iPhones since uh, they started selling these phones, which is pretty good. Um, even though they have a year-over-year -year decline in phone sales, they still sold, uh, I believe, something like 40 million iPhones just in the last quarter, which is pretty amazing it's still you know it's still a good seller it's not um, a problem yet but um, they do need to think about something new and something to improve it to uh, make this uh, better so uh, 1 billion iPhones sold pretty amazing when you think about it well the anniversary update is upon us on Tuesday and uh, if you're an insider you've noticed that we had some cumulative updates well it seems that uh, internally at Microsoft there is another cumulative update coming up, but this one is a, as a bigger jump in numbering. Uh, you know, last Friday we had one 14393.3 show up, 
Then we had an update this week on Tuesday that was 14.1493.5. Well, it seems that we're going to have one that's going to be 14393.31. So real big jump there uh, with apparently a lot of fixes. And this is to expect because they want to have the best product available on August 2nd for everybody. So it should arrive either later today or tomorrow Friday unless there's some major problem with it. So uh, if you're an insider, check out your Windows update. It should arrive, um, you know, to this week, basically before, um, probably at the latest tomorrow, uh, late tomorrow. So uh, and we'll be jumping to 14393.31 apparently. Steam is Steam broken? Is Win32 apps broken? Will when Microsoft break? Uh, Win32 apps. Uh, you know, there's this nut job uh, in uh, Forbes magazine that uh, called Tim Sweeney, and that guy is really a Windows hater. I mean, I've I never, almost never, well, I never talk about him because he just, you know, since the start of Windows 10, um, bashes Windows 10, says it's bad, it's horrible they're doing things, Microsoft's doing things behind our backs and so on and he's going really crazy. The guy's totally nut, I can tell you that and I don't even understand why he has a job at Forbes. So basically he's, um, you know, he's been ranting for a while but now this week he's been ranting at how uh, Win32 apps, Win32 apps is, you know, what we call desktop apps when you click a install button and you, you know, follow the instructions to install a new program. And he's saying, yeah, well, Microsoft is going to shove one in our face. They're going to break the Win32 apps and they're, they're going to stop, you know, making those. And Steam's going to be broken. You won't be able to play your games and so on, uh, which is not true at all. And he even goes as far as to say that he knows that Microsoft is about to do this, which is totally, totally uh, untrue. Basically, um, Win32 apps cannot, you know, first of all, they cannot change this because not only is there, uh, you know, third party apps like uh, Photoshop and all of these programs that run in this mode, but for backwards compatibility, it's another um, thing that they need to keep because a lot of programs run with that. And the funniest thing is that even Microsoft's own software like Office runs on Win32. So, uh, you know, it's kind of a little dumb to think that that's going to be broken. And you know what? Eventually, um, let's talk long haul. Let's see five years from now. If in five years from now, Win32 apps are non-existent anymore. You know what? What's so bad about this? Just rewrite your apps and your programs so that they come out as apps through the Windows Store. And you know what? It's going to be much more secure. Win32 is one of the major problems why we have viruses. Why? Because we can run anything we want. By going through the store, we would be much more secure. Look at almost every device that has a store where you have to get your stuff there. Viruses are pretty much not a problem. So, uh, you know, that guy, I, I think he should lose his job. What a stupid guy. Phone market uh, apparently back at growth. We were talking a few months back that the phone market started shrinking a little bit, uh, declining uh, about 3% year over year. And it's understandable. I mean, phones are expensive. And typically today's phones, it's pretty much something that you can use for so many years. You know, if it wasn't that I, I wanted to have the Galaxy S7 and I got it at a good, a good price, um, you know what, my iPhone 5 still did the job that it, I wanted to do it and uh, it, it would have been good for several years to come. It's not complicated. So uh, basically the uh, uh, market, the phone market has been now coming back at growth. So that's interesting. 1% growth year over here. And the biggest seller, Samsung. It seems that sales of the Galaxy S7 phone are just really, really amazing, much better than expected. And uh, it seems that Samsung is the big, biggest player right now, 
22% of the market owned by Samsung phones and uh, they sold more phones than Apple did with their iPhones so it gives you an idea of how they are really starting to dominate the market a little more so this was the tech news update for Thursday July 28th 2016 if you have any comments questions suggestions let us know maybe you have uh, something that's wrong that you'd like to share with us maybe we can help you you like our videos please subscribe and you'll know when new videos are online and thank you so much for following us don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like the video